it happens very often in physics that we are very confused and we can't tell left from the right. Our theory doesn't make the distinction. And even more amazingly, uh, the theories that people are taught in mechanics very often can tell future from the past. So if you reverse the arrow of time, the equations stay the same. Now, on a lattice reflection or inversion on a lattice has two forms. If you have a, a lattice and you have a field on the lattice, you can stand at zero. You know, I'm the center, I'm the yellow column, I'm the gold, I'm origin. And what I mean by time reversal is I take everybody who was ahead of me and I flip them so they are back on the left. You can see these two pictures and everybody was behind me now gets to be ahead of me. So that's operation of time reversal, which I call sigma in this notation. But then it turns out there's a second uh, reflection that if you take my the field and you step it, one step. So what used to be the first blue column is now the gold column in the middle. And the stepping operator, we call it R for rotations, and that's standard in Wikipedia. We couldn't use S for reflection because we use S for something else. It's called sigma. So you step, and now I'm gold and I flip. Mm -hmm. And look what happens. The things of the one, two, three, four are now you know, going minus. So the stuff that's going forward is going backward. Stuff that was behind me is in the future, but in this operation, which we call odd reflection, no point remains in change. You know, in this reflection, nothing. I was the fixed point, but here the reflection actually happened across the mid interval between those two points. You know, this is zero, this is one, this is mid interval. So there are these two kinds of reflections. That's what happens uh, on a lattice, and I'll explain it by more pictures. So now, now why do we have two symmetries 